What, did you expect it all to be red satin and bats? Kakuto shows up looking as this pleases earlier. No, I... Then what were you expecting? I... Well, maybe I was kind of expecting something like that. But with more candles and chandeliers, maybe. Chandeliers were vampires, not Victorians. Sorry, it's just when I see vampires in the media. Yeah, I know. Sorry to bite your head off. Uh, figure of speech. Yeah, I know there's a lot of weird stereotypes about us. That's why Mari set up set this clinic up and why I'm helping out. It's really nice of you. Y yeah, sure. How'd the quiz go, anyway? I did pretty well, I think. Oh. Yeah, I surprised myself, actually. Hmm, I gotta say I'm surprised, too. Anyway, I'm supposed to be your tour guide. First on the activity list is... The Vampire Sunscreen Routine. Mari suddenly pops up to Gakuto's right. Ah! What? And she disappears again. Is that some kind of vampire talent? What? Oh, you mean how Mari just appears out of nowhere? I wish. That's just Mari thing, though. Anyways, as Mari said, our first activity is a common part of Vampire's usual morning routine. While we'd like to go through the whole morning, we're currently a bit understaffed, as you can see. So we only have the sunscreen bit to set up so far. Sunscreen? Well, as Mari told you earlier, vampires sunburn very easily. So we're very careful about applying sunscreen. So how's this supposed to work? Am I supposed to put the sunscreen on you? What? No, that would be weird. We have to get a dummy for this. We're not using actual sunscreen. Let me just set it up. Gotta stand it up right. That's it. Make sure it's secured. Okay. Uh, is that supposed to be a vampire? A pretend one. There aren't a bunch of clothes for you to choose from. The goal is to pick an outfit appropriate for a vampire. Then, you'll put sunscreen on. Or, well, fake sunscreen, since our dummy is made of whiteboard. Just use this yellow marker to apply the sunscreen. Then I'll let you know how well your vampire outfit would fare in the sun. Sound good? Sounds like fun. I'm ready to start. Just stick on the fake clothes and sunscreen and let me know when you're done. Got it. Well, this seems like fun to do. Let's see. Um, let's see. I'd say it's probably the best since it's like, you know, a straw, like a sun hat. Nah. I think that looks fine. Like, yes, the other ones would provide the most protection, but the sunscreen is used for that, right? <laughs> So that would be... Uh, that makes sense, right? I think this should be okay. I, hey, er, G Gakuto. Gakuto returns from the room. You done? Yeah, I think so. Would you take a look? Okay. Well, first the outfit. You gave them a very summery outfit. That's a lot of exposed skin. For the sunscreen, though, you didn't put on enough sunscreen. Oh, I need to put more. It's actually a very common mistake for humans, too. You have to use a lot of sunscreen for it to actually be effective. If you don't put it on thickly and evenly, it burns. Oh. And I never thought about how much sunscreen you're supposed to put on. I usually just put on a little, if at all, any at all. Well, that's because you can get away with it. Humans don't usually sunburn as bad as vampires do. And we're not careful about our sunscreen, no. Well, let's just say sunburns can hurt a lot. I have bet. Anyway, that was the activity. The idea was to give you a little idea of what a vampire goes through, as a way to say, hey, we're just normal people trying to live our lives. It's kind of more boring than I expected. I always thought vampires were more, I don't know, sexy or scary or both. Sure, that's how we're often portrayed in media, but most of us are just boring people who buy a lot of sunscreen. Huh, thank you for telling me about this. I never really thought about it before. Just doing my job. Anyway, I need you to prep for the next activity. Wait here for a bit. Gakuto walks out the room, taking the dummy with him. I guess I'll do what Gakuto said. Before Hoan gets any time to wait, Mari shows up again. How was the activity? Eek. Uh, what? Sorry. How did you like the first activity? You know, 
the vampire sunscreen routine. Oh, that. It was pretty interesting. Oh, I'm, a I'm really glad. It took a bit of time to cutting the whiteboard for the right size. You cut it yourself? Yep, we're pretty short on funds, so most of the stuff here is DIY. Huh, wow, that's amazing. Thanks, we try our best. Sorry, I got a little bit off topic. I'm actually here because it's time for the requiz. Oh, a requiz. A chance for you to take our vampire quiz again. I think it should be pretty easy since you already know the answers you know. I'll try my best. Here's a new sheet, just let me know when you're done. Okay. Let's try this again. Blood, it's a total score of 5 out of 5. Perfect. For that, you get a prize. A prize? Yep, here. What'd I get? A tomato pin! Oh, yes! Part of the tomato club. Er, uh, what's that? A club of vampires and friends. You're the third member. I hope you'll take your vampire knowledge and share it with your friends, too. I'll try, and thank you for the pin. Cool, I think Gakuto should be back soon anyway, so I'll leave you two to it. Mari walks through one of the doors. Oh, she actually walked out normally this time. I guess I'll just wait for Gekuta to come back. I can take a little look around here in the meantime. They have some interesting magazines. I've never seen most of these before. Vampire Weekly, Fang Outpost, Wired for Nights. Gekuta walks in and knows Ho on looking at magazines. You can take a look at them if you want. Oh, no, sorry, I was just... Like I said, feel free to take a look at them. They're there for visitors to look at, after all. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit later. Whatever, do what you want. I have the next activity ready when when you are, though. I am. I'm ready. <laughs> ready. What's the next activity? <laughs> a backstage tour of sport of sorts. I'm going to show you the process we go through for before a blood donation. Uh, oh, okay. We're going to be looking at the blood and stuff. Are you going to be okay with this? Yes. Yes, I will. Here's a blood warning for you, by the way, um, so click off or skip ahead if you want to. I will. I was just caught off guard. Sorry, I really haven't done anything like this before. Yeah, I can get that. It's really nothing to be nervous about, though. Let me show you. Kakuta walks home onto the lounge area. This is where the blood donations happen. Huh, it doesn't look very clinical. Yeah, Mari wanted all the rooms here to look as inviting as possible to make sure people could feel comfortable. We visited a bunch of other clinics in the area before deciding to look at Tomato Clinic. It's definitely been more relaxing at least. Guess it was worth the work we put into it then. What? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Nothing. Anyway, let me explain the process. How much do you know about blood donation? Not very much, honestly. I've only had blood tests, and that's about it. Okay then, I'll start at the beginning. First off, just to clear any possible misunderstandings, both Mari and I are certified to draw blood. All vampires working at donation clinics are required to be certified, for both the regular human method and the vampire assisted method. Regular human method probably means a needle, but what's the vampire assisted method? I'm guessing you don't know much about vampire things, right? No, sorry. Well, you probably heard the stupid stories about people getting pleasure from vampire bites. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Excited about that's not how it works. Oh. <laughs> Our fangs are subs have a substance which is natural anesthetic with a calming effect. They're, al they're also very sharp and pointy, so the, the wound left behind is very small. At donation clinics, the process is simple. Bite, then draw. Huh? First, we bite to create a very small wound. Then we use the needle to draw out the blood. Oh, but why not just use a needle in the first place? Unfortunately, blood lo loses nutrient nourishing qualities very quickly after leaving the body. Huh? Oh, it's like an assist. It's an assistant thing. You have like you know your normal blood, and then it's like, hey, this is food now. Is that the? Oh, is that the method? Oh, that's cool. I like that. That is, unless the first stabilized by a substance in our fangs. While it'd be easier just to bite and suck the blood from the source, we can't expect a human to always be available when a vampire gets hungry. That's where blood donation clinics come in. We draw blood and distribute it to vampires who need it. That's so cool! Like a vampire food bank, yeah! Something like that, yeah. Everything makes sense so far? That's so cool, I like that idea. That's really smart. Wow. That's real. 
I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know why it makes me so happy. Before we actually draw the blood, though, we do need to do a health check to make sure everything is okay. What kind of issues could there be? For example, maybe the person's blood is infected with something and they don't know. They might have recently taken medication to prevent them from donating. They might just be feeling sick and donating blood could make them feel worse. Huh. Once we confirm that everything is okay, then we start the blood donation process. The human gets comfortable on the couch and the vampire takes their arm. Arm, not neck. While it's true that it'd be easier to drink blood from the neck, since we're drawing blood out through the needles, it's easier to do it to the arm. Like a regular blood donation. Oh, I guess that makes sense. One thing we need to make sure is very clear though is that it's okay to stop at any time. We always want to make sure both human and vampire are comfortable with everything. So if the human feels uncomfortable, we call it off. Same for the vampire feels uncomfortable. Maybe you start feeling dizzy during the donation, or you just change your mind. You don't need a reason. If someone says stop, everything stops. We'll give you a button so you can press just in case you're anxious about saying it out loud. Wow, you're really prepared. Well, we're asking people to give blo their blood to us. We want to make sure we have the complete consent. That's so cool. I love this. I love it so much. Anyway, that's the end of the presentation. Hopefully you've got everything a better idea of our blood donation process now. I think I do. Thanks. Great. I'm going to go back to the cafe area to prep for the last activity. Could you wait here until I'm done? I got it. Cool. How's this going to... Oh, she's she going to come in because she's very sporadic. She might be gay. <laughs> Gakuto leaves her lounge area. The blood donation process is a lot more complicated than I expected. I guess I should just wait here now, though, until Mari... Hello! Mari slides into the room. What? There isn't even a door on that side of the room. Where on earth did you come from? Ha, huh, that's a secret. Technically, this time is scheduled for a quiz, but since you're already past the quiz, though, do you want me to ask him? Do you want to ask me some questions? How common are vampires? How common are vampires compared to humans? It really depends, honestly. Vampires tend to live in small communities. Lately, though, you've seen more vampires like Akuto and me live in big cities and such. Now, that's how humans know a bit more about vampires. It's easier for us to live among humans. Really? I lived here my whole life, but I don't think I've seen more than a couple of vampires. I mean, you can't really tell for vampires at first glance. If you're not looking too closely, you really just look like pale-skinned humans. Oh, that's true. You might actually know a couple of vampires without knowing it. I wonder if I do. Any other questions? Can people be turned? No, that's absolutely not possible. Sorry, I knew that already. That's what I that's what it says in the books I've read before. It's just people still say that we can, right? Being a vampire isn't a disease. It's not contagious. We can't infect anyone with it. It's just one of those unfortunate myths that spread. Sorry for bringing it up. Don't don't apologize. I'll happily answer any questions like this if it means it can clear things up. Any more questions? Not right now. I'm okay for now, I think. Okay then, in that case that's everything from me. Yakuto will let you know when he's ready, so just stay here. Mari disappears again, though in a different direction this time. I wonder if there are any secret passes waiting in this place. Nah, that'd be a bit too much. 